Hi everyone, Messi Coder here with another Unity tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how you can make these 3D UIs. Look at this, it's a 3D animated object. It's not a 2D like we had before, no, it's wonderful. You can also get a sneak peek at my game that I'm making. It's nearly finished, I hope. Oh dear. Let's head back and I'll see you all in a moment. I've won Messi Coder back again, this time with a quick tutorial to show you how he runs in your game. I wanted to start, well, making a Marvel vs. Capcom style character selector inside my game and I figured, you know, 2D images would look nice, but I didn't realise how tedious the process would be. It's very boring. I first need to put an, a model into the game, then I have to pose it, light it, take a nice picture, stick it in a, in a photo editor, uh, make it all nice and transparent and then stick it inside unity and as you can see I still have these little blue little shenanigans going on here I'm not very good and it's also a lot of wasted effort and her hair looks a bit naff as well so I figured you know what we'll do we'll just use 3d ones they'll be fantastic and the 3d ones will make well I just have to do the job once and then I put an idle animation on them and everyone will be happy so, okay, so first thing we're going to do, pop into our textures folder. Let's right click here, create a new folder called Render Textures. And inside Render Textures, we're going to create two render textures. We're going to have render texture called Character Panel 1. And I'm just going to drag and hold down Control and it'll make two of them. And I'm going to change them to be 1000 by 1200. And I'm going to change my depth to be No Depth Buffer. Uh, could I add anti-aliasing later, but for now I just don't really need it. I'm just going to leave it with these little two badges here. I'm going to go over here, create an empty. I'm going to call this 3D view just for myself. And in here we're going to create another child. I'm going to call it player1. And inside player1, we're going to create ourselves a, a camera. And we're also going to create ourselves an empty object, which we're going to call characters. Character. And in here, we're going to create some layers. So let's go to add a layer and character panel. And I'm going to put two of them, character panel one, character panel two, because I'm not really using many layers. I can get away with it. Maybe if you're coming to the end of your maximum layers that you want to have some more. Uh, and then you just call it character panel. And you can, you can do that. But I've got them, I'm going to have them very close together. So I'm going to have two different layers so they don't overlap each other going to change this to be character panel one I'm going to change my camera to its culling mask to only be viewing character panel one change the skybox to be a solid color and change that color to be black and I've got my opacity down to zero and we're going to change perspective to be orthographic and we're also going to drag in our render texture and that is our character now if I want to see where he is well if I put him here the camera is facing him, but he is facing the wrong way. So immediately, I'm going to flip him around the other way. And just to help us, I'm going to go to my prefabs folder, and I'm going to drag in one of the characters that we're playing about with. And this bloke here. Straight away, I need to make sure that I do change the layer to be character panel 01. And say yes for his children, otherwise the camera won't see him. And here he is. And because, if I just lock this here a moment, because we're on orthographic, if I move this around, it doesn't actually make a difference, only if I go too close to the culling. So, we're going to change our camera size. We're going to go, we'll, we'll make that number smaller, smaller, smaller. And now we can reposition this bloke down a touch. And go in a little bit deeper, oh no, that's deep. And make him there. So let's go down a touch more, and let's rotate him because we want him to be facing that way. Lovely about that. That looks beautiful. And maybe just a little smidgen there. I think he looks fantastic. Brilliant. And that, there we go, there we go. we've got our man. Let's unlock our padlock. We've got our blow key. We've got him on the character panel one. We've got our camera set to look for this render texture and he's only caring about this so now I'm gonna grab you and I'm gonna duplicate it so let's duplicate and call it player 2 
and let's do some little changes to player two I'm going to change the camera to be only looking at player two and we're gonna go to our Bob and drop him into player two brilliant and we haven't put our character into that at the moment uh, because well we don't need to right now we just want to show how player one looks so if I now go over to my character display, I'm just going to create an empty in here. I'm going to call it raw image. And if we go over here and we add a raw image, lovely. And now if we drag in our texture, here he is. Click set native size and bang, the width and the height automatically change. Now if I hide, I could turn this off, they're only seeing our raw image. Let's hope this works. And if I go over to my uh, character display in Mux, I'm just going to drag in raw image in here. I'm going to click play. And. Oh, you know what we forgot? You know what we forgot? And he just disappeared like from a, a flash of light. Oh, we forgot to go over here and turn off all these naughty scripts. And for a brief second, he just dis He was there and he vanished. There we go. All those naughty scripts are turned off. Now when we click play, it shouldn't just fall through the ground. There he is. Brilliant. Now you see he's a little bit too close, isn't it? Because he keeps on hitting that. So if we just move this, touch over here. I think, there you go. Lovely. 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is the magic number. So let's copy this whole component. Bang. And then paste in. Oop, values in there and then let's paste in the values on this one pasting values and that pretty much is is it to be able to just say you know what we've replaced our 2d image with a 3d one obviously we need a little bit more code but basically that's it for the render textures now I've got a 3d uh, model that a camera is looking at and he's displaying it onto here now we've still got because we're all naughty, we've still got some audio listeners on these cameras and we can get rid of those, we don't need those on there and they'll stop giving us that silly warning saying that we've got too many of them brilliant okay, we've got some errors in here because we've got uh, scripts and things but I think we're looking good we're looking wonderful, brilliant so that's, that's the first stage do you want to see me edit this about? shall I pause the video? and do some Mux magic and come back to you? Would you like that? Good. I think that's an S. That is a yes? Yeah, that was a yes. And here we are with the final steps. I've got my image and my raw image. you notice that the rec transforms are identical apart from the width and the height. And we've got here our character panel and our raw image as before. And much like the same on the other one. But in this one says character panel 2. And if we go over to my Mux character display, I'm just going to drag in the raw image into the raw image and on this one the raw image into its raw image. I'm going to remove the image one because we're not using that anymore and that's all of the magic here basically the functionality that the image had we just replicated over to the raw image so it will show it and it would flip it if it's on player 2. And down the bottom here in our character and our character we will instantiate these models and we will turn off all of these scripts that they have and we'll get rid of the rigid body from being gravity to drag it drop into the, into the ground. We've also here got our character panel 2 layer and here we've got our character pa panel 1 layer and when we instantiate then it will recursively just add the layer to all of its kids. So let's click play. Oh hang on before we do that. Oh went straight in. Let's make it nice and big and juicy. Here we go. And now let's click play. So there's Niccolo Draghi, there's Francois Vauville, and there's Asvos, the Badger Man. I'm going to edit his texture to make him more badgery. That'd be awesome. So let's be Badger Man versus... Oh, look, see here. We've got our... Let's go back over here. And let's turn off these images. Boop! turn them off because they're not actually loading the thing they want to they'll keep on having these big empty spaces in there so let's turn those off that's better so where were we badger versus um rhino man what do you think 
Now we could even have it so when you um, select and play a different animation. You could go, okay, when you do Badger Man, he does, yay, I'm a Badger Man, and stuff like that. And there you go. They're ready. Are they ready to fight? They are ready to fight. You're going down! No, you're going down, buddy. Oh, he's... Oh, come on. Punch him, punch him, punch him. Punch him, kick him in... Kick him... Kick him in the bits. Kick him! Stop having your legs go through him. You're making yourself... Your magic powers. We could add... Puppet Master and things like that into here. So, make it... The contact feel a lot more real, but you know what? We're making 10 games in 2020. I think this is good enough. Come on, didn't say they were going to be AAA best games in the world with the most advanced physics, but I think they were right. We also need to get rid of that cursor because he's annoying me. So we put our script on there to say, Cursor, go away. So, what do you think? It worked. It did, it worked. I think it's alright. I don't think it's too bad. I think this is. The first phase of our game being ready. We could actually even call this a ready game. If we wanted to. <laughs> It'd be very cheeky if we did. But yeah, we've got a... We can we can play. We can select a person. We can select someone to fight against. And then we can fight them. Come on. That's a game, isn't it? Pretty sure that's a game. Let's make some more scenes and things. And we could have even a, a stage selector. There you go. Then we could do like an arcade mode. And things like that. We could even do multiplayer, punchy, punchy, bang, bang. Oh, you beat me! Oh dear, I was distracted talking to you all. And he seems very happy about that. Well, there you go. Okay. If you like these videos, want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below to all of your friends, your neighbours, random people on the street, and I will see you next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button, and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.